my channel for another day of vlogmas so for this video i decided to show you guys the best at least in my opinion the best cheesecake recipe this is the only cheesecake recipe that i use ever since i found it like a few years ago and it's honestly super super easy so um for starters though i don't make the graham cracker crust i just buy these at the store so these are from aldi but most grocery stores have the like little pie pan with the crust already so this is what i use um the first time i made this recipe i did make my own crust with like butter and graham crackers but so much easier to buy it done so that's why it's super easy so i buy these um and the rest of the ingredients are really simple so you just need a pint of sour cream a pound of cream cheese which is two bars of cream cheese three eggs one cup of sugar um vanilla extract and this is imitation vanilla flavor but it's the same thing so i just use this and a zested lemon which i already did so the first thing that i did was preheat my oven to 325 degrees and now i am going to go ahead and get started so first things first is the cream cheese i'm going to go ahead and put it into this bowl and start mixing that for one minute Often, I am going to add the eggs, which is three eggs. So I'm going to be adding them one by one and mixing a little bit as I add them. creamy or like I mean the cream cheese it's not like that hard like cream cheese because with the eggs it's starting to liquefy so I'm gonna take the spatula and just scrape down the edges for the next ingredient that I add to make sure that all that cream cheese is getting into that mixture okay so now that the eggs are put in I'm going to take my cup of sugar and just gradually um, sprinkle in so the same thing as the egg I'm just gonna do little by little so I'm gonna start off with a little bit because if you put all of it, the sugar will like whoosh, with the mixer. So a little bit, then I'll start pouring some, mixing, pouring some, mixing. Okay, so now that the sugar's put in, I scrape down the sides a little bit. This is what the mixture is looking like, again, more liquidy. So what goes next is the cream cheese. And this is what is going to help this mixture become more creamy since it's more like liquidy right now. So you do pour in the whole container of sour cream. I don't know if I just called it cream cheese right now, but if I did, I meant sour cream. Okay, so you can pour all of it in and then just start. And then just start mixing. And I just mix the sour cream a little bit in there. Um, so now I'm going to go in with the lemon zest. I'm not that good at zesting lemon, so it's not a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and pour in what I have. And after the lemon zest, just a dash of vanilla extract or imitation vanilla, whatever it is you have. Maybe that was too much. And then now I'm just going to mix it a little bit for like a minute or two um, until the mixture looks creamy and then I'll be done. Okay, so my mixture is now ready. It looks, I hope you can see it better, a little bit like this. It's like a little creamy, a little liquidy, it moves around, um, kind of yellow. 
and when i was mixing it i did what i kept doing before like scraping down the sides as i saw fit to make sure all of the ingredients was getting mixed evenly but now that it is done and there's no like big chunks of cream cheese or anything everything seems well mixed i'm gonna go ahead and put it into my graham cracker crust so i forgot to mention that this recipe actually yields for two cheesecakes in these trays um if you make your own cheesecake and it's like a taller pan and you make the crust um then you can just make one but since these pans are small pie pans it actually makes two of these so that's why i have two crusts right now i'm just going to evenly pour in the mixture into both pans is in both pans i just like to you know move it around like go over the mixture with the spatula just to make sure it evenly gets distributed throughout the whole thing it's not lopsided so there's that one now this one oh some of the graham cracker crust is breaking so this is what it looks like right now before it cooks so I'm going to put it in the oven at 325 degrees for 45 minutes. And I do place the pan straight into the oven just like this since I buy the pre-made crust. Um, if you do watch the recipe that I'm actually going to link down for you guys below, which is where I got it from, from the Food Network, um, the way that it's done is you can bake it in a pan of water so that the, the cheesecake gets more moist. But this is the way I've always done it. I've never put it in a pan of water. And it always tastes perfectly great to me. So this is just my adaptation of that recipe. Like I said, I don't make the crust. And I just put it straight into the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and let it bake. Okay, everyone. So the cheesecakes have baked and they have had time to cool. So this is what the final product looks like. <laughs> I don't want to drop them. The crust broke off a little bit, but it is all right. So that was it for that recipe. Honestly, it was really easy. Um, note that if you do make this, when the cheesecake is baking, it will puff up. That's totally normal. Once you take it out and it has time to cool, that's when it gets like nice flat surface. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and want to try out this recipe. Like I said, I got it from the Food Network, which I will link down below and it's honestly super easy and i think it tastes so good like this is my go-to cheesecake recipe so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed i really hope you try it out let me know if you do and what you think about it and i will see you in my next video bye